So again, judges, um, th this is obviously the traditional playoff. So all of the rules are still in play for that traditional category. So do any judges have a question about any of the traditional category rules? Because there's a lot at stake here. So. Hey, that's that's uh, that's on you right there. Like I said, I just I don't have any interest in being around y'all's family at all on Thanksgiving or Christmas right now. So, <laughs> now this is this is good stuff here. So. It's time for the family feud. <laughs> Great job, Alonzo. All right, and we have next, who was once in the family, Mr. Caleb Coots, and he is gonna play guitar rag.
All right, we will have a verdict soon. Great job on both of you again. Great, great job. Um, I want to make mention really quick. Um, you can clap, Kathy. It's okay. You can do whatever you want. You're our friend. Um, at the conclusion of this, I do believe that uh, straight smoke is still going to be out there for a little bit. If any of the judges or anyone else have not had a chance to eat, um, by all means, go out there and do it. I got the brisket sandwich. I don't know that there's anything not excellent that's coming off of, off of those smokers out there. It is mighty good. Oh, okay, you were waving. I thought she was like trying to tell me that I looked funny, which I do. But, um, but yeah, so make sure you uh, visit the food trucks. Um, again, don't forget, um, I know Greg had mentioned this a couple times too, the Kentucky Thumb Pickers Christmas Party. That'll be December 10th uh, from noon to 6 p.m. It doesn't get any better than potluck dinner and guitar picking. And that is at the Hopewell Baptist Church in Jefferson Town, Kentucky. And if you need any more information on that, talk to a Teresa Waddell or Chris Waddell about the Kentucky Thumb Pickers. They do a lot of great, great promotion, a lot of great players in that organization. Also, if you're interested in another event that is on a much larger scale than this one in July, Dr. Mark Pritcher with the Chet Atkins Appreciation Society is here it is an incredible event. It starts on Wednesday, it ends on Saturday night, and it is guitar overdose is how it was mentioned to me the first time I went. And you see many of the same people you see here, including Tommy Emanuel a lot of times, Doyle Dykes. You never know who's gonna be there, but it is a world-class guitar gathering, literally the best on the planet are at that event every year. And Mark and Carol and everyone else do a fantastic job of putting that together. So. That's in July, so by all means get with Mark, and that is another organization that you can become a member of as well for a very, very minimal fee, and you actually, to attend the convention, do have to have a membership for that organization, so uh, check with him on that, but it's a, it's a great, great time of guitar players. Anybody else have anything they want to say? I'm starting to get hoarse and stop talking. Okay, and yes, Miss Charlotte would like all of the champions, everyone who was who was a winner in each class, and or you want just champions or all places? All, all, all places and then champions. Okay, so everyone who received an award in a class, I would love for you to come back to the stage after we announce um, the the winner of this duel here uh, for pictures for our paper and so on. Again, we want to thank you for that. We also want to thank Central City Tourism Commission as well for helping us out with this. They have been on board with this event. Um, for as long as I've been with it and passed. If you have not been over to Central City, um, please go over and visit that. And how long today at Rochester is the John Prine event going on? It'll be a little while, because I think people would have a chance. If, uh, if you want to get out and about and see a few things, there's a dedication of a John Prine Park at Rochester Dam today. It, was gonna, it started at two o'clock, but that's gonna actually be going on throughout the rest of the afternoon. We will be closing the Merle Travis Center after we announce this to switch over to get ready for tonight, doing sound checks and everything, and we will open the doors back up at 615. So that'll give you an opportunity to maybe visit that John Prine Park at Rochester, um, Merle's Monument, as well as Tom Bresch's resting place is at Ebenezer, which is very close to here as well. Mose Rager is also in that Ebenezer Cemetery. You have Paradise Park next door that has Merle Travis's childhood home, the Belton Mercantile that was relocated, the Hall of Fame little shotgun house there also. And speaking of Tom Bresch, tomorrow we've had several people ask about this as well. We're gonna have a very just laid back but good day from 11 o'clock to one o'clock to honor Tom. Tom wanted to be honored in this facility named after his father. That was one of his wishes and we've not had an opportunity to do that. So we're gonna be having some of the players come up, so play some songs that meant something to Tom or that they wanna to dedicate to Tom. A few people speak uh, that were associated and familiar with Tom and just have a good day. It's scheduled from 11 to one. Um, that is not set in stone. We do want to keep it where it cuts off at one, but if it's you know an hour or so or something like that, we just want a good program for that. But some of the people you've seen will be playing, speaking, and so on. There is no charge for that event, so feel free to come to that as well. Yes, ma'am. What's up? And you're sure? Let me double check. Three times. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Come on out, both of you.
<sighs> All right. Well, good job. All I can say is there's peace and order in the family again. Caleb Coots is our 2022 traditional grand champion. <laughs> That is storybook ending right there. And, and I am going to go ahead and say this, too. You know, we, we talk about Eddie and, and different things. And, you know, the, the lineage, the, there's a reason that all of these players that are in this competition sound like they do. They're all influenced by great players. They all follow great players. These two are no different. When you listen to them play, they both put their twist on it. But... Eddie Pennington is world known. We talk about Eddie a lot. Eddie has had influence on a lot of players. He's had a lot of influence, obviously, on these two players as well. And I don't have a problem saying that from up here because some places you would say that and people would be like, well, their favorite, you know, they're, they're showing favoritism to somebody. People know better than that here. And I'm just going to say it. If you think we are, then hmm. <laughs> but but th this is a, it, it's a great competition, but I mean, um, I'm, I can say this now, they both did a fantastic job on their songs. I have not heard very many people sound at that close to Merle Travis on this stage and then Caleb did during that round. The tone, the touch, I mean, that, that's it. So Caleb Coots, 2022 <laughs> traditional grand champion. Great job, buddy. Both of those in tune? Okay. Okay. No, we're good. And you will get a chance to see them play tonight. Both of them will be playing tonight as well. You might even pick a tune on their new guitars. Might even get them to pick one together on their new guitars. I was going to say, I had heard that there is a very special young lady and a great singer in the house who's kind of hiding her face, so I won't call her out. But she's going to probably be my pick for the cutest performer of the night. And so, Miss it, It's Miss Penny. Uh, you just told on yourself, Vaughn. <laughs> okay. So come on out, win winners and so on. We'll get pictures done. We want to get everything wrapped up so y'all can go get a bite to eat if you haven't got a bite. And if you did, it's been two hours, so go out there and get something else. I'm going to. So. I'm going to tell a quick story while oh, they're lining up. Uh, yes, sir. So I remember an occasion um, when uh, the sculptor was coming in to measure Chet for that statue that's in Nashville, and they were looking at old photographs and just trying to decide what the pose was, and Chet got tired of it. And he said, well, he said, you decide, but look at this. He said, put my hand in the middle of the neck. He said, down here, I look like a songwriter. <laughs> Up here, I look like a show-off. <laughs> right here. <Yeah. laughs> See how they take a lesson here, right? Junior's, make sure you don't run away because I need another picture. We were in the wrong 